There are several ways of showing views in Swift UI, and one of the most basic is a sheet. A new view shown on top of our existing one. On iOS, this automatically gives us a card-like presentation where the current view slides away into the distance and the new view animates in on top. Sheets work much like alerts in that we don't present them directly with code such as mysheet.present or similar. Instead, we define the conditions under which a sheet should be shown, and when those conditions become true or false, the sheet will either be presented or dismissed respectively. Let's start with a simple example, which will be showing one view from another using a sheet. First, we create the view we want to show inside a sheet, like this. Struct, second view, conforms to view. Var body, some view. Text, second view. There's nothing special about that view at all. It doesn't know it's going to be shown in a sheet and doesn't need to know it's going to be shown in a sheet. Next, we'll create our initial view, which will show the second view. We'll make it simple, then add to it. Button, show sheet. Then a comment, show the sheet. Filling that in requires four steps and we'll tackle them individually. First, we need some state to track whether the sheet is showing. Just as with alerts, this can be done with a simple boolean. So add this property to content view now. At state, private var, showing sheet, equals false. Second, we need to toggle that when our button's tapped. So replace the show the sheet comment with this. Self.showingSheet.toggle. Third, we need to attach our sheet somewhere to our view hierarchy. If you remember, we show alerts using alert is presented with a two-way binding to our state property. And we use something almost identical here, sheet is presented. Sheet is a modifier just like alert, so please add this modifier to your button now. Dot sheet is presented, dollar showing sheet. Then a comment, contents of the sheet. Fourth, we need to decide what should actually be in the sheet. In our case, we already know exactly what we want. We want to create and show an instance of second view. In code, that means writing second view. Then, well, that's it. If you're in the program now, you'll see you can tap the button to have our second view slide upwards from the bottom. And you can then drag down to dismiss it. When you create a view like this, you can pass in any parameters it needs to work. For example, we could require that second view be sent a name it can display, like this, var name string. And now, just using second view in our sheet isn't good enough. We need to pass in a name string to be shown. For example, we could pass in my Twitter username like this, second view, name, at two straws. And now the sheet will show, hello, at two straws. Swift is doing a ton of work on our behalf here. As soon as we said that second view has a name property, Swift ensured that our code wouldn't even build until all instances of second view became second view name some name, which eliminates a whole range of possible errors. Before we move on, there's one more thing I want to demonstrate, which is how to make a view dismiss itself. Yes, you've seen the user can just swipe downwards, but often you'll want to dismiss views programmatically to make the view go away because a button was pressed, for example. SwiftUI gives us two ways of doing this, but the easiest one is using another property wrapper. And yes, I realize that so often the solution to a problem in SwiftUI is to use another property wrapper. Anyway, this one is called at environment, and it allows us to create properties that store values provide to us externally. Is the user in light mode or dark mode? Have they asked for smaller or larger fonts? What time zone are they on? All these and more are values that come from the environment. And in this instance, we're going to read our view's presentation mode from the environment. The presentation mode of a view contains only two pieces of data, but both are useful. A property storing whether the view is currently presented on screen and a method to let us dismiss the view immediately. To try this out, replace the text view in second view with this button. Button, dismiss, self.presentationMode, dot wrapped value, dot dismiss. 
The addition of wrapped value in there is required because presentation modes actually are binding so it can be updated automatically by the system. We need to dig inside it to retrieve the actual presentation mode for us to dismiss the view. Anyway, with that button in place, you should now find you can show and hide the sheet using button presses.